I mean, then Jesus said, in this house, he's creating a permanent solution that will give people a permanent solution on their problem. Not a temporary quick fix where they feel excited, they go home and it disappears again. So be encouraged. Then I see all these millions and trillions of people coming here. And I realize the workers are too few. And I want to say to you sitting here this morning, you need to prepare yourself. Because you are the leaders, you are the people that will help when these people coming in. You need to be here to help. Amen? Amen. So please, gear yourself for that. What you see here is only beginning. You'll see many people come. This church is really too small. But we're going to need people to help us. Many people will come here in Jesus' name. From all walks of life, from all cultures, language, colors, everyone will come to, to receive a permanent solution on their problem. Then God showed me South Africa. He said, there's few churches. There is. But few churches where there is a permanent solution. There's short-term solution, quick fix that is only temporary. Say to God next to we need a permanent solution. And that is a great anointing. That is a great anointing that presents the true power of the blood of Jesus to us. Amen? Amen. The blood of Jesus is powerful, but where there's a lack of anointing, it is only the anointing which is the Holy Spirit's presence which can make the power of the blood of Jesus a reality to you. We know there is, there is not a power on the earth and in the heavens as the blood of Jesus. But the blood of Jesus, say for instance, you, if, you got, if you got only 10% of the anointing of the Holy Spirit, you will only experience 10% of the power of the blood of Jesus. Do you understand what I say? There's only one that can make the power of the blood of Jesus a reality to you, and that is the Holy Spirit and His anointing. When the Holy Spirit and His anointing is lacking, then the insight and the revelation of the power of the blood of Jesus will be limited to you. Do you understand why we need the fullness of the Holy Spirit? Do you understand, Kobe, why I said to you, you need far more of the Holy Spirit because the responsibility in your shoulders is a big one. Otherwise, you will work yourself to pieces quickly. Your health will not keep up. You need the Holy Spirit. God will not take away the responsibility, but we need more of the Holy Spirit. That's why so many people, they do not understand where is the power of the blood of Jesus. I mean, and then they start to doubt in this power. This power is awesome, but you need the fullness of the Holy Spirit to understand the fullness of the power of the blood of Jesus. It is only the blood of Jesus that set you free, because this is the sign of the new covenant. Say, this is the sign from heaven. Of the new covenant. The blood of Jesus. There's nothing else, my friend. There's nothing else. I made up my mind to concentrate and to put the emphasis on the right things. And not waste my time on gaining a lot of knowledge that will help me nothing. You will not find me presenting you a course on the second coming of Jesus or things like that. Uh, that is true. But it's not. The, the emphasis is Jesus. You need to be free. Why are some of you not free? Because you do not understand the fullness of the power of the blood of Jesus. Because of a lack of anointing. Where the anointing is increased, so your insight of the power of the blood is increased. Do you understand what I say? Amen? That's why Jesus said you will receive power when the Holy Spirit come upon you. He did not say you will receive the Holy Spirit's power. Many people are deceived here. But you can see it like that, but that's not what he said. He did not say you will receive the Holy Spirit's power. He said you will receive power. Say power. power. When the Holy Spirit come upon you, because you will see the power of the blood of Jesus. The power that is in Jesus. The power that's in His name. The power that's in His cross. You cannot see these powers without the Holy Spirit. Give Jesus a hand. Do you understand? That's why you need the Holy Spirit. That's why the apostles waited. That's why Jesus said to them, Do not leave Jerusalem. You will be my witnesses to the ends of the earth. But do not leave Jerusalem. But wait. Wait for the promise of the Father. For you will receive power. When the Holy Spirit come upon you, 
you receive that power. What power? The power of the cross. The power of his name. The power of the blood of Jesus. All these powers. The power of forgiveness. The power of grace. The power of mercy. All these powers will be reality in your life when the Holy Spirit falls on you. Because it's only the Holy Spirit that can teach you about these things. That's why you need the Holy Spirit. You should make time. I gave that prophecy to Kobe. You should all make time to receive more of the Holy Spirit. Set time apart where, and, and take the example of Jesus or the advice of Jesus. Do not leave Jerusalem. Meaning, do not start with your task before you receive the promise of the Father. For he said, you, the, the Holy Spirit will come upon you and you will receive my power. Say, I will receive power when the Holy Spirit come upon me. What powers? You see, many people say, oh, the power of the Holy Spirit. The power, Holy Spirit is powerful, but he is never ever want you to receive from him, but he's always taking you to Jesus where you should receive your salvation, your deliverance, your breakthrough, your grace, your mercy, your provision. The Holy Spirit's work is never to put attention on himself. He is working behind the scenes, always pointing to Jesus. Any spirit that does not point to Jesus is not the Holy Spirit. And any spirit that always points to Jesus, that is the Holy Spirit. That is how you discern what spirit is of Jesus or not. What spirit is of God or not. The Bible says, test the spirits whether they are of God or not. Say to the to you should test the spirits whether they are of God or not. How do you test? It is so uncomplicated, my friend. You test the spirits in this way. Any spirit that points to Jesus is the Holy Spirit. But a spirit that points to anything else but Jesus is not the Holy Spirit.